Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you're viewing this, it may represent a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We have love in your energy. And we have stillness in theirs. So waiting for this person to make a move towards you, perhaps. Uh, this definitely could be a soulmate energy. I'm hearing twin flame for some of you. Clear messages and guidance, please, spirit. What is the energy here? So I'm going to read your energy at the top, and I'm going to read their energy at the bottom. But because this is a general reading, it can be flipped or reversed. I usually ask you guys over on Instagram what deck you want to see each week for your readings. I did forget, um, and so for this series of videos, I'm just intuitively choosing a deck for each sign. Uh, for you guys, I chose the Crystal Visions Tarot. We have the Four of Swords with the Star Aquarian Energy. We have the Queen of Wands, that is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Justice card, that is Libra Energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands, okay? Under the deck, Two of Swords, something about a decision. Knight of Swords, that's more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, some kind of communication. Someone's making a decision to come towards you with some kind of communication. They may, You may have been, like, um, on a break with this person. They could have went silent on you. There could have been an ending. You could have been married to this person in the past or had some kind of committed relationship. But it feels like this person's been kind of, like, withdrawn, maybe... Maybe not even like actually ghosted you for some of you. They just could have just been kind of like internally kind of pulled within, not really communicating a lot to you. But they're making some kind of decision, some kind of judgment to kind of come towards you and be very honest and very straightforward about something. I'm going to start up here. So we have love. Um, I absolutely love these cards in this deck. There's just, you know, just so much to look at here. But I'm just seeing something really blossom and I'm seeing something really beautiful, very fruitful. You know, it's like you've been nurturing this, giving to this, watering this. You know, like you feel this abundance with this person. It's like paradise here. It's like an understanding of all of it. I mean, it's beautiful. You have pure, unconditional love for this person. Now, I do feel like this person is a mirror of you. I always get like a mirrored image when I see swans. Um, but this person, they've been kind of silent. You could see this person. Again, I have stillness in their energy and I have four of swords in yours. So you could be kind of giving them a little bit of the silent treatment as well. Maybe if they're not reaching out to you or there's like a block in communication. You know, I don't feel like it's, you know, spitefully, here's a taste of your own medicine, but I just kind of feel like you maybe been a little bit guard, maybe kind of in your head, doing your own thing, waiting for this person to come towards, waiting for them to kind of speak up, speak some kind of truth to you here, break the ice. It's like you don't want to be the person that makes the first move, even though you do love this person, like you're tired of like putting only the effort in here, they have to do it too. You know, it's like, it's teamwork. So there you go. Four of Swords. It's the energy of kind of waiting, meditating, contemplating about something, you know, trying to figure something out. We have the star here. That's Aquarian energy. Okay. The star would talk about, you know, wish fulfillment, healing, finding some kind of balance in something. I mean, like restoration, like uh, how do we repair this? Because for some of you, I kind of like you may not be, you may be in separation from this person. Some of you may just be like not communicate as effectively as maybe you had in the past. And it feels like you're trying to figure out how to restore that. Could you love this person? You don't want to give up on this relationship. You have a deep fire for this person. Again, male, female doesn't matter. This is fire energy with that queen of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. But, you know, it's like this person, they excite you, you know, this person inspires your creativity, like your passion. Um, this person makes you feel alive, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to put into words. It's just kind of like you feel like yourself when you're actually with this person. Like when you guys are apart, you don't feel like you are you. And now that's silly because obviously regardless of the situation, again, we're talking about your energy. That doesn't make it true, right? You're always you, right? But it does feel like you just feel more complete, more balanced. Uh, there's just more excitement in your life. Just, um, 
and again, I'm never gonna like justify actions, behaviors, etc. But we're here to understand. So we want to know, you know, this person's energy. What do they think about the situation? How do they feel about it? How do they justify their energy, their actions? You know, from their perspective, because we know yours, right? But I do want to say that, like, a person, a relationship doesn't define who you are. You know, I definitely feel like with deep soul connections, a lot of times, you know, it definitely things just seem to fall into place and it just seems to make sense and you kind of recognize more of who you are but you don't necessarily have to be with that person to be yourself and I need somebody here to know that and again that's not going to be for every single viewer who is watching that could just be for a handful of Cancerians or cross watchers um but it's like this person they inspire you like you try maybe you're, you're adventurous when you're with this person you're fu you know you know what I mean there's just excitement here about all the new possibilities and even the mundane boring everyday kind of things are exciting it's not just hey can't wait till eventually we take that trip to switzerland i don't you know what whatever that is for you guys you know or to some exotic beach somewhere it's more than just that it's even exciting just to think about you know where you're gonna live in 20 years and you know picking at a house together and you know just going to the grocery store these these normal everyday kind of things that excite you. There's this whole world of possibilities when you're with this person and you see that here. But it does feel like this person has kind of been in a reflective energy with stillness here. It's like they're not making a move towards you just yet, but they will be. Okay, they will be. And that's what's important here. This person's been thinking a lot about something, doing the right thing. Now again, this is a general reading that's going to resonate differently for every single viewer, okay? Some of you, we talk about third parties all the times. Um, third party does not mean person. It doesn't. Third party is an energy, and that can be absolutely anything. And you're probably shaking your head right now. Mystic, what are you talking about? A third party is a physical person. You know, it's, No, that's not exactly what it means. Let me put it this way. Here you are. Here's your person. Here's the third energy. This could be your person going to work all the time. They never take a day off ever. You know, this person's prioritizing friends, family, co-workers, you know, their best friend Bob from high school, Barbara, whoever, right? This person struggling with an addiction, you know, uh, even some mental health disorders like bipolar or depression, okay? It can truly be anything. Anything that they are taking instead of directly communicating with you, working out problems with you, they are putting that into this energy. They are putting their focus here when it should be here. Therefore, you are in a triangle, my friend. You're given to them. They're given to this, right? They do want to make things right, however. Now, you could be dealing with a Libra or somebody has strong Libra in their chart, but there needs to be some communication here. This person needs to right some kind of wrong. So, for some of you, yet yeah, could resonate as a physical person being involved. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. Some of you could be friends and family. Maybe there's a lot of, you know, negative influence here. But this person wanted to make things right, make things fair, make things balanced. Some of you, it could involve a legal situation. Six of Pentacles, there could be like a divorce, okay, for some people. Or a legal um, settlement or something like this right with some kind of division of things six of Pentacles uh, this can also be this person really decided to give more to this connection okay because things definitely happen very unbalanced you know you've been walking around for quite some time you know you've been the one you know filling their cup you know filling your own cup trying to juggle all of these things but they haven't really been pulling their share of the weight here involved in regards to the situation they see that for what it is now and they want to be very honest with you moving forward Okay, the Ace of Swords, that is air energy. This is this person wanted to communicate some kind of truth here to you, initiate some kind of conversation. For those of you who have not been in communication, this could be this person reaching out and deciding that they want to say something, break the ice here. Um, for others of you, if you're already in communication, this could be this person just finally beginning to open up about something where maybe they've been very closed off in the past. They want to be victorious here. Now, I do feel, regardless of any other external factors or third-party type energies interfering in this connection, I do feel like this person has a bit of an ego, and I think everyone does to some extent, you know, but I mean, it's just kind of like how you balance that, right? It's okay to be proud of yourself, but when you're too boastful, when you're too proud, when you're too insecure, and you, you know what I mean, you overcompensate by that, by maybe, you know what I mean? 
uh, that's kind of like the energy that I feel with this person. It's hard for them to really admit when they're wrong. They could be very stubborn. And I want to say specifically somebody could be doing with a Taurus or a Leo. I don't, I just want to, I wanted to say that out. And again, no offense to my Taurus and Leos out there. I am a Taurus moon and a Leo stellium. So talking to myself just as much as you there. Um, but the six of wands, this person, they're a little prideful. They're a little stubborn. They do want to be victorious with you though. They do want to make it work. And I'm seeing this person here with this energy decide and make a decision. Okay, two of swords to come towards you with communication. The knight of swords, you know, they're answering the calling where something may have come to some kind of close. This also could be someone telling you that they are going through a divorce or some kind of separation. Something's ending. There could have been like a really major event in their life. Some of them I even want to say could be depression. Scorpio energy there. The hermit. I feel like there's been kind of a, a withdrawn energy involved in the situation a little bit. Virgo energy here. It feels like, you know, just a need to kind of reflect, you know. But this person is coming towards you. This is Aries energy. This person really decided that they want to um, give more to this. Step up to the plate, you know. Be the man, woman, etc. Whoever they need to be in regards to the situation. Gender is irrelevant. Um, the emperor could be a husband, father, wife, mother. You know, someone that, you know, they're kind of coming out of isolation. They've kind of taken some kind of time to strengthen themselves, to kind of overcome something here. All right, so this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.